tell you, Madam Speaker, we are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. Ugandan president calls on Africa to save the world from homosexuality. Several African leaders have a reputation for adopting unconventional policies and refusing to follow America, Europe, and Asian policies that go against the norms, values, and standards of African society. Many of such leaders refuse to sign bills to put in place laws from the West that don't portray a good moral for Africa. The president of Uganda, Yori Kaguda Musvenai Tibuhaburwa, is the most recent African leader to reject such initiatives. He is one of the few African leaders who has outright refused to accept homosexuality in his country, while being a close friend and ally of the US and UK. Hello there, welcome. You are watching Africa Reloaded with me, James, your host. Please take a few seconds to like this video, subscribe to our channel before you continue watching. Yori Musfini, the president of Uganda, has urged African leaders to oppose the promotion of homosexuality, implying he will sign a contentious anti-LGBTQ plus measure that was approved by parliament last month into law. The measure, which calls for life in prison for recruiting, promoting, and supporting of same-sex activities, and the death penalty for aggravated homosexuality, has drawn heavy international criticism, and the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights has urged the president not to sign it. President Yuwari Musvini's remarks came during a two-day interparliamentary conference on sovereignty, culture, and family values that was held in Entebbe, Uganda, from March 31 to April 1. The Anti-Homosexuality Bill, a harsh piece of legislation that tries to criminalize persons for simply identifying as LGBTQ and provides for the death sentence for anyone found guilty of aggravated homosexuality, was enacted by Uganda's parliament just weeks prior to the conference. The African Bar Association, the Nigeria-based Foundation for African Cultural Heritage, and the Ugandan parliament all promoted the event. A watchdog group that tracks the far right, the Southern Poverty Law Center, has classified the U.S. Evangelical Christian Organization, Family Watch International, as an anti-LGBT hate group. Participants could also participate in the conference online. Speaking at the occasion was Sharon Slater, head of Family Watch and chair of the UN Family Rights Caucus lobbying organization. In addition to thanking Ugandan lawmakers for approving the anti-gay legislation, Musvini vowed never to allow the promotion and publicization of homosexuality in Uganda, underlining that it will never be accepted. For their own safety, a Ugandan LGBTQ activist who requested anonymity attended the meeting using Zoom. They are developing a plan to combat homosexuality in Africa. They want the leaders of their governments to publicly support what they refer to as the African perspective, the activist claimed. Please take a few seconds of your time and comment on this video so that we can know what you think. The conference, which was held on Friday and Saturday, specifically urged Zambia, Tanzania, and Ghana, all of which the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris visited last week to reject American influence, according to the activist. They are urging African nations to take action against corruption right away, become independent, and stop receiving assistance from the West. The Ugandan government tweeted statements from Kenyan MP George Peter Kaluma, who claimed that anyone who advocates for same-sex unions or relationships is trying to eradicate mankind from the face of the planet. The government also tweeted that Kaluma, who was present at the conference, had said that several African nations, including Kenya, Ghana, and Malawi, were developing legislation that were comparable to the one in Uganda. A feminist activist from Uganda named Stella Nianzi, who was jailed for opposing Musvini, declared that she deplored both the deceitful organizers and the gullible attendees in the so-called Family Values Conference. Notwithstanding this request and his firm stances, many other Ugandans and Africans have expressed their disagreements. The rise of homophobia and transphobia in Uganda and the region, 
according to Ugandan human rights attorney and activist Nicholas Opio, has nothing to do with African or Ugandan values. Through their local actors, American evangelicals are disguising a campaign. Their campaigns are now run through what appear to be regional professional organizations, like Christian lawyers associations and parliamentary forums. Their assertion on African family values is nothing more than a dog whistle, a hate campaign, and an attempt to impose a limited Christian worldview on everyone. I appreciate you watching to the end. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded if you enjoyed the video. Additionally, don't forget to enable the notification icon so you can receive notifications when we upload new videos. Moreover, feel free to browse our channel where you'll find a ton of engaging and educational videos.